You're getting robbed. Come on, girl. Ain't nobody got a heart. Are you crazy? You fixing to come to grief, huh? I'm real hungry here. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Get lost! I'm sorry, mister. I'll see you again. I guess.
Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Everything all right? Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. We'll be fine. One of us now. Another busy day. Hey. Cool. Bill? Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just, a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pierce. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your pocket. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Evening, Arthur. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and... I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.
see you ain't got problems with your appetite. Is there any part of my existence you're not trying to ruin? I'm not sure I appreciate your tone, girl. Well, I'm not sure I appreciate your smell. Put me off my meal. Why don't you take a bath, please? I will not put up with much more of your tongue, miss. Anybody lose a pile of turds? I think I found one. Go get yours one day, my girl. I can't stand much longer over there. I mean, I love the girls. But my lord, they complain a lot. I mean, I know worse than this. I was born into worse than this. Most of us grew up hungry and scared and alone, one way or another. And here, we usually got food and we usually got Arthur. I mean, sometimes. Mr. Arthur. I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. How are you? All well? <laughs> 